Hello there. If you want to track some time into the Upwork, you are in the right place. I'm going to be showing you what we can do. And uh, let's get started. So first of all, you need to sign into your Upwork account. If you don't have an account, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description so you can sign up totally for free and you can start working from the today actually. So before we continue, what you want to do is to try to complete your profile so you can see that there are more available tools for yourself. Now, as you can see, I'm pretty sure the Upwork dashboard the website has changed it just a little bit so speaking about some tracking time i was pretty sure it was down here into down calories so now that i don't see that in here what i want to do is to look for other options so if you scroll all your way down and select the option that says help and support which is actually this option uh here what you want to do is to browse and help calories so what we want to look for is just to try to find any specific application. So here we want to look for apps, which is this option. And here we have the mobile application and the desktop application. And of course, there's the integrations. So here we have the time with time tracker. So if I clicked in here, it actually says that to help you focus on important stuff like doing excellent work, we try to make the rest easy. So we made the billing to time usually. So this one, apparently, it's now only available for the Upwork desktop application. It's as simple as can be. To log your time, you need to open the Upwork desktop application, logged in, uh, select the current contract and continue. So if we want to track time inside Upwork, we want to download out the application of Upwork depending on the um, depending on the device that we are currently using. So what I want to do is to locate the link so that I can download out the application. So what I want to do is to go back into Upwork. And once I am in here, what I want to do is to locate the application. If you want to find that just a little bit more faster, what I can strongly suggest to you is just to open a new tab. And here, what I want to do is to look for Upwork application and hit into enter. And as you can see, we have the downloads of Upwork. Or what you can do is to use tab upwork.com slash downloads. As you can see, we are now available uh, in here. So it says get Upwork on your desktop, track your time for hourly payment protection, stay connected. So if I clicked into this search bar, it's going to be asking for the version to download. If you don't know which version of your Windows it is, you can click into your Windows section. You can go into your settings, which is actually uh, really easy. And once you failed that, you want to go into settings. And in here, you want to locate the about option. So in here, it's going to be telling you about the x64 base uh, system type. In my case, it's 64 bit. So now that I have that information, I want to go back into my Upwork page. I want to choose once again this option and select the Windows 64. I'm going to hit into download. And uh, just as simple as that, the application is going to be downloaded right away. So I'm going to just wait just a couple of minutes till the application has been downloaded correctly and then we can proceed. All right. So as you can see now, the application, the file has been downloaded successfully. So now what I want to do is to make the proceed with the installation file into Upwork. So here we have the installing. Please wait. We just need to wait just a couple of seconds till the application has been successfully downloaded. So it's going to be asking to, uh, for uh, agree to the terms of service. So what I want to do is to scroll all my way down. If you want to take a look into all those terms of service and agreement, you can do that. In my case, I'm just going to go into agree. So now, as you can see, it's really easy to download and load the Upwork application. So what I want to do is just to sign in once again. So it's really easy to sign in. If you don't have an account, you can just log in. As you can see, um, so now what I want to do is to sign in real quick. I can log in what with my Google account. In my case, I do want to enter with this email real quick. Now, if you created an account with a Google, it's going to be asking you for the two step verification. So you don't have to be worrying about that. It's going to just take a few seconds. 
and after you verify that is uh, you then we can log in successfully so now in here is going to be asking me for uh, the security question below because they don't recognize the device it's totally fine i just need to tap my answer and hit into continue so once i filled the right information i do have the application already downloaded so here it is the app work on your desktop is a time tracker and instant messenger so hit into next now it's going to be telling us like how does a time tracker work so you just need to enable it as long as we are um, making let's say working here into uh early rate so i want to go into next we want to learn from that later hit into ok and here we have the messages of the people that we have uh, contact already here now i'm just going to exit for this second i this is my time tracker right so if i go into my settings i can go into the settings option of the screen capture so i can capture all the monitors or i can use and uh, capture an, an active a specific monitor. I can enable my notifications if I want to. If I don't want to, I can just disable this or this as well. I'm gonna enable both of them. And here into the time zone, really important to choose the EUTC because the uh, tracked time corresponded to the weekly byline cycle. If you want to enable your camera, you can do that. Here are some a few reminders, messengers, some keyword show codes, and the advanced options. I don't want to mess around with that. I just need to allow this system to use GPU so I can get like a great, great experience. Speaking about the time tracker, so so why do I don't have any time tracker in here? Because I need to have an active work in order to activate that. So once I have a contract, once someone uh, contacted me you know, and hired me for a specific work, it's going to be available in here. So what I just need to do is to refresh here. And after I see the work, the open contract, I just need to click into the option to active my time tracker. In my case, it's going to be asking me for finding a work so I can start to time tracker. But that's the way that people can just track our time, track our work. Uh, they're going to be like recording our screen so they can be really sure that we are actually working and we are not like um, doing other thing than work so if you want to let's say go into three three dots and go into out of office because you are having lunch or I don't know maybe you are off the computer you can customize your message like I am out of the office until this time and I may not respond immediately thank you for your understanding so uh, most of people do this when they are on, um, actually active but they are actually, let's say, on weekends. So you want to enable that if people are contacting you constantly. So you go into submit and you are good to go. Now you don't have to be worrying about that. Even you can put in here the online and invisible mode if you don't want to be disturbed. So as you can see, it was really easy to enable the time tracker using the Upwork application. Just be really sure, guys, to have a active uh, work a active open contract in order to find that in here so there you have it guys just in case you have any question you can leave it down below in the comment section now don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more uh more stuff more tips about the off work uh it was really really easy guys so just in case you have any questions just in case you have anything really 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 hard to uh to solve i can strongly suggest you to once again go into the help and support center and once you are in here you want to contact them so they can be helping you like really really live whether you can choose to have um a solution from a phone or a help center so thank you once again for watching this video guys and actually i will see you on the next one